And here's another tidbit of bycatch from the world of Starlow Gets Real. Reading the water, I think, is one of those skills that separates the 10% of anglers who catch 90% of the fish from the 90% of anglers who really struggle to catch a fish. And it's all about observation, just keeping your eyes open and really taking notice of what's going on around you. If a bait fish is flicking there, why is it flicking? Is it being chased by something? If the birds are dipping down towards the water here, what's happening underneath and what's pushing the bait fish up? One of the ways I like to explain to people how to read an estuary is to work the tides. It's all tidally related, whether you've got one metre of movement or three or four metres of movement in that tide. And I like to divide fish into two groups. There are the foragers, they're the brim and the whiting, the small flathead, uh, the flounder, all those smaller fish that eat shrimps and prawns and mussels and worms. And they use the rising tide like an escalator to get up onto the sand flat. So they're on the front of that rising tide and up they go. And that's when I hunt for those kind of fish using those natural baits or lures or flies that imitate them. Then the tide turns and the whole thing switches around and it favours the predators on the run-out tide. That's the big flathead, the tailor, the jewies, up north, the barramundi and the mangrove jacks and the trevally. They all come into their own as that tide drains off the flats and forces all those forage fish and all those bait fish back into the deeper channels. And then you need to look for the, the neck down points in the highway, the intersections, the little gutters that come off the flats, the creek mouths that run into the main stream. That's where the action's going to be. Open your eyes, observe what's going on around you and you will catch fish. Make sure you subscribe to Starlo Gets Real to receive regular updates. It's free. And while you're at it, check out my Starlo Fishing page on Facebook and my blog site, Tightlines. <laughs>